All right, today we'll be looking at the Nobara project. It's a project based on Fedora 35. A lot of people are, are moving towards using Fedora as their daily driver. Of course, it comes with some benefits as it's backed by Red Hat, basically just the consumer version of Red Hat. The Nobara project is something that Glorious Eggroll has been working on. I guess most of you guys already know who Glorious Eggroll is. He's responsible for the Proton GE. Some interesting things that's been included in this on top of Fedora 35. Basically, it's got a lot of improvement, a lot of stuff that the Xenmod kernel already has in as well. As you can see here, Futex 2, F-Sync compatibility, WineSync, OpenRGB is already included. And by default, a lot of cool things are already installed when you, when you install this ISO. Stuff like G Overlay, Mango HUD, Team, Lutris, OBS is patched already with uh, some, some additional plugins to make game capture a little bit more easy. So I've installed it in VirtualBox for the moment. I'm, I'm in the middle of a PC upgrade, so as soon as I do the PC upgrade, then I'll be installing it on my main system and giving it a try. So let's go have a look how it looks. I've got the um, KDE version of this. As you can see, it's Fedora 35, running on kernel 5.16, running on Wayland, instead of Xorg. Let's just go look over what applications there is installed already. Blender is already installed for you. The overlay, the latest version, if I'm correct, is already installed. VK Salt, Replay Sorcery is already installed. The um, reason why I'm looking at going to Fedora is um, I've been using Linux Mint. And as you all know, Linux Mint is a little bit behind. So, for instance, the newer things like G Overlay, this specific version is not available to me. So nice to see this included over here. KDE Connect is already installed. Kden Live is already installed. Lutris is already installed as well. OBS Studio, go have a look. Since I'm not running pass-through mode, my, my GPU will not be really installed, but M Capture is really installed here. MPEX already installed as well. So, as soon as I complete my PC upgrade, I will I will try to install this, and then I will do a complete video on it, and hopefully all the the new improvements and the additional things that Glorious Eggroll has included with this specific uh, version of of the Fedora 35 distro will be treating me a little bit better than Mint is currently treating me. Of course, Mint is super stable. Just works, but due to it being a few months behind, you know, there's additional features that I'm looking for at the moment that I just can't get to working. So yeah, that's it for now. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.